set up his cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machines. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Corvo! Wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Calista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Well, Mr. Sokolov has certainly recovered. A good night's sleep has left him with an appetite. Let us all praise their choice. The dance of investiture will take The High Overseer is supposed to be the most pious man in the Empire living completely in alignment with the Seven Strictures and guiding the people in the religious faction towards spiritual health. Campbell was a farce. If not for all the blackmail material he accumulated, he'd have never been more than a lower-level initiate among overseers. Renovation of Caldwin's Bridge will be delayed indefinitely. Until then, citizens cross at their own risk. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. It's not that I object to holding him hostage for a while since he's been aiding the Lord Regent. But it's a shame. I always found him rather charming. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague. I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so long. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. 
The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. A curious strategy. Of which I approve. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendician spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? Attention Dunwall citizens, you are required to boil any water. Can't you see I'm about to bathe? Corvo, under other circumstances, I assure you I might welcome your advances. But rats, plague, and tyranny have a way of killing the mood. I'll leave it to you. But if you get tired of I could use it. King Street Brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. 
I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which boil she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out, in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself, and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink any? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh... Mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. A masked ball. You happen to have the most clever mask of them all. Say what you will. The royal physician knows his wine. My arc pylon will eclipse the old Sokolov model. Consider seeing Piero before we set sail. The Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready?
that's a crime? Wait for it. A couple of overseers were passing, and they had one of their... you know. The music boxes. So she stopped singing as they passed, and... And they thought she was a witch. You should have seen it. Ran right through the rose bushes and tackled her. Dragged her back to that abbey. And they call us stupid. We had to get a notarized letter from the regent himself to get her back. But she hasn't been the same since. I'm not surprised. I've heard stories. She won't talk about it. One of these days I'm gonna take one of those zealots apart myself. I'll be Waverly through a garden party, and we stopped in after the Estermonts cancelled. Well, it's no Do you know about tonight's game? Oh, yes. They're going to wear the same costume in different colors, and we're meant to guess. Another... Oh, there went my invitation. Maddie, don't chase after that. We don't know what's in those buildings. No place is safe. To play and die waiting out here. I'm sure she'd like that. Why Invitation, you know, please. Gentlemen would. We'll go inside and make nasty remarks about Emma Style. Well, we know I'm no gentleman, so you might as well make them here. You have to feel right sorry this way, her. sir. She's only here to ask for a handout. She must be desperate. When have the boils ever given anything away? Maybe she hopes she'll win the game. Oh, that is so boring. I'd die without gossip. We'll probably die anyway, waiting for Emma. I'll drink to that. Which part? Any of it. Oh, damn, I want some wine. Look at that mask. Sick bastard. You there, stop that! Oh my, that's wicked. Who made that mask for you? It's exactly like the wanted posters. That's going to cast a pall over the whole evening. I think I'm starting to enjoy myself. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up. I want to see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon.
contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at all. Get on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop! Stand right there. Three, two, one. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in Should demand. We for I hear and the Estermonts tonight? pay top coin. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boils clean up the mess. Another party game. It was fun for a season. Hello. The Boyles hope you have a wonderful time tonight. Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Excuse me, my cousin is a Marquis. Of course I don't mean you, but people are desperate, and the Boyles are awfully wealthy these days. Nonsense. Waverly just hires officers from the Watch to impress people. Your obsession with the Boyle women. Will it never end? your own squad after what happened last night? Yes, of course. Ugh, you smell like the streets. Been slumming it, have you? <laughs> Did you hear about Mrs. Grimsley? You'll never believe this. What is it now? She had her jobber pick up a boy in the street. Barely 16 years old. No family left. I thought her interests were confined to her family. I think she ran out of family a while ago. What's it all about? And how do you know this? My servants heard it from hers, naturally. They were sexual rights, I can only assume. Or else, 
I heard she bathed in her own nephew's <gasps> scary mask. Ridiculous. What sort of hygiene is that? It's a ritual for the outsider. To keep them safe. Emma, you could get her sent to the Abbey. Nobody that rich gets sent anywhere they don't want. The Brimsleys made an awful lot of money this past century. Makes you wonder if those rituals work. What happened to the boy? I hear he enjoyed himself very much. For a while. Hello, sir. Ooh, scary mask. You, a gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I need to be in any given situation. As I think I've proven. I told you not to bring that up. There's a great deal I could offer you. Don't be silly. The rumors say the boiled crap. <laughs> Bless you. Excuse me. Oh, leave him be. It's a party. This is a private conversation. It's a party. It's called mingling. Mingle all you want, then. We'll speak later. I'll find you. Good evening. You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Would you get me a drink? I'd be so grateful. What most people don't remember is, the rats came a half a year before the Empress died. And the plague, too. Are you... Excuse me. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. Good evening. He's the only one holding this together. Excuse me. Ooh, scary Come and entertain me. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in red tonight. That wanton thing. Additionally, Lydia's in black. I need that prize. An if I could get upstairs. Oh, hello, I'm Ella. Enjoy the Do you know party. they've dug down and found if the ruins of another city under this one? Before the overseers. Before any. Lydia, Waverly, Esme, White, Black, Red. You need another there has drink, to be a clue upstairs as to who's who. You remember who's who, don't you? Could the city get any worse? Cunning costumes. But there must be a way to guess. They say Lydia's the sloppy one, and Waverly's a prude. Or is it the other way around? If only I could peek upstairs for clues. Anything you need, sir. I'm sure in a few drinks I'll find that mask funny. Try Miss White in the moth mask. I hear she's lovely. Welcome to my party. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Hello again. So many choices tonight. Whom shall I pick? 
Are you trying to guess which one is which? I was thinking of sneaking upstairs to look for clues. Or would that be quite a house? Are you on the guest list? That would be such a bore. I wonder how many of these people owe us money. You should see this as an opportunity. To what? Learn a trade. I'm not here. Join for the city watch. Your house built its fortune in crisis. You can do so again. Hold on. I need a cigar. I know your mission tonight. We must speak privately. If you want to be beaten, go right ahead. Let your family starve. Sell your wife into prostitution. I'm sure I can get you a good price. You son of a bitch. There's the old pirate spirit. Things are changing too fast to give up just yet. First that nasty mess with the Empress, now the High Overseer's gone. Parliament is shifting. The whole city's turning upside down. If we only had a good war to get into. There you are. Although at this stage, I don't know who we could beat. But don't you see, we don't need to win a war, only lose it. Everything's revalued, and we let the conquerors worry about the problems. Interesting. I'll be informing the Lord Regent of your ideas in the morning. You don't mean... Have another drink, Byron. They don't serve cocktails in Coleridge Prison. I was only talking, thinking aloud. As was I, Byron. Now drink Good up. Good evening. One sister's in red, one in white, one in black. I'm stunned. Please, do you My mind not we should sneak us. upstairs to look for clues. But I don't like I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight. And, how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Esma. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, and I will keep her safe with me. Forever. Good evening. Oh. Hello, handsome. Seeing two of you, but thanks anyway. Silly, she's wearing red tonight. <laughs> oh my word, I wasn't supposed to say, was I? Lydia and Waverly will be so furious. This is exactly what they said would happen. That sounds lovely. Why don't you come with me? Now Evening, where sir. have my friends gone? Oh, there you are. Enjoy, my darlings. Don't you think this color suits me? Group of gods we have. Scary I hope this plague lasts forever. are here. Isn't it wonderful? Who likes rats? Nobody. Who likes rat lights? Everybody. Evening, the trash. You know, I have a dirty little secret. You can't imagine who I'm seeing. I mean, if people only knew. But I'm only doing it to ensure the family name. It's too dangerous right now not to have proper connections. 
Truthfully, if I could get free of him, I would. You're more my type. Mysterious, silent, self-composed. I do believe this is going to be a fabulous evening. What shall we do with ourselves? Tell me, have Are you learned anything as more? Weak as the last set? Yes, yes.
on duty.
to make a pronouncement regarding the plague soon. Get her on board. At last. Oh, my love. Someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life. sir.
Could this city get any worse? Indeed. I believe so. I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. 